Hello, Paul Hamilton here. Uh, there's been lots of interest on the water cycle AR demo that I gave, so I thought I'd kind of step you through the steps, if you like. Um, I'll go really slowly. It's sim really simple to do. Um, this is what you'll need. So uh, you'll need a, the latest gen iPad. Um, or you'll need an iPad Pro. So the older generation iPads will not run AR kit. So this kind of experience. So uh, if you haven't got it, don't bother at the moment. Wait till you um, update. That would be great. You're going to need the Keynote app for iOS. You're going to need the AR Maker app for iOS. Now, a lot of people said, Paul, I can't find this. Well, you need to search on your iPad. So don't search on your phone. It's on an, it's on an iPhone app. It won't come up in the search. Um, so you need to do that on your iPad. And finally, you need your imagination because there's so many applications as a presentation mode for this sort of concept. So you're gonna to need to really kind of use your imagination about how you can use this in your context. It might not be the water cycle, for example. So the first thing we're gonna do, I'm in Keynote at the moment. Uh, let me get out of that for a second. I'm just gonna create a new slide. Now this is sim really, really simple and easy to use. So um, at the top here, we're gonna create a new slide. Uh, we'll just do a blank one at the moment and it's going to be white, but we'll change that in a minute. And what we're going to do is create our assets. So the things like the trees and the clouds and the um, arrows coming down, and we want to do that individually. Now, what you need to know is if I just bring in a quick shape, let me just bring in a simple shape to show you what you need to be thoughtful of or aware of, sorry, um, before you start this. So when we actually import these into um, AR Maker, AR Maker imports them as kind of like a square. So that's kind of the zone that you're working with, with your shapes. Try not to make it long and flat because it'll get cut off when you've actually brought that in. So that's just a quick kind of simple be aware of before you start. So what we're going to start with, um, let's start with some trees. So we'll go to nature and we'll look for some trees. That could be the first thing that we kind of layer in this. Now I'm just going to do one at a time. What I'm going to do is make them right down the bottom. Now, you'll notice that I haven't put them in the middle. I've put them at the bottom because when it goes into AR Maker, it's gonna look for the plane. So if I raise them up like this, it's gonna sit off the ground a little bit and I really don't want that. I wanna layer that right on the bottom plane when I bring it in. So let me change that color by going to uh, my paintbrush style. That's a nice green to start with. And that's as easy as it is. Um, but you're gonna to need to do something before you do that. So don't touch on the tree. Just touch on the on the actual slide, and you'll see on the right-hand side in the paintbrush here, we've got background. We wanna make this a no-fill. That means it's got a transparent background and it's gonna look really schmick when it comes into the AR Maker. That's a crucial part. So let's wait, let's make one more, because you can see I've actually done quite a few. Let's make a cloud, because then we can actually raise these up a little bit. So we'll actually go into, uh, oh, it's nature. And what I'm gonna do with this here is I'm gonna remember that kind of square and I'm gonna move these up and I'm gonna make these some different colors. So what I'll do is I'll make, go to my colors here and make these kind of like gray clouds for it. And I'm just gonna copy a few of them and I'll put a little cluster of three clouds, slightly different color. No, we won't do white, we'll do some gray clouds and we'll paste one more. Just put that up there, that's looking good. Actually, that looks pretty good like it is. Still fits in my kind of square, and don't forget, we need to make that a no fill. Now, don't worry about the colors too much, you won't see that black ground. So what I've done there is with these three clouds, I've actually put them at the top of my canvas so that they're gonna pop off the ground a little bit when we jump into AR Maker. Now, I've repeated that process. You can see I've got my up clouds, my down clouds. I've got some speech bubbles there as well. I've got some different trees, um, got some different clouds. I've even got the sun in the middle there, um, some different trees. And that's all you really need to do. So the next step is I've got to finish off my slides and actually export that whole deck of slides to my camera roll. And this is one more crucial part. I'm gonna to go to export. I'm gonna select images and I'm gonna make sure that I'm on PNG. That will allow that transparent background to actually be uh, present. So when I layer them in AR, um, AR Maker app, they're all there. So I'm gonna go to export, and then I'm just gonna say, save 15 images. That way I've got all my assets, they're all individual. Try not to put too many on the one page, um, because what that will do is won't give us that layering effect in AR Maker. 
it's time now to jump into AR Maker and let's have some fun. Let's, let's get a little bit of tech magic happening. Okay, so what we're gonna do is open up our AR Maker. And the first thing you might see is some templates down the bottom. There's some pretty cool kind of uh, already made assets there, but we're gonna create our own, big on creation. So we'll create our own, we'll go to start. And the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna look for a plane. Now, you'll see in the video that I laid a little kind of printout of the um, water cycle. You don't need to use that. I'm just gonna use my table, for example. I'm gonna tap on there and you'll see it comes up with a little placement. So all I need to do now is to bring in those assets that I created in Keynote. So I'm gonna to go to new. I'm gonna to go to the bottom one. Sorry, I'll go back. Down the bottom, you've got circles, uh, sphere and so forth. We're just gonna go with flat. And on the left hand side, you'll see the folder. We're just gonna go straight to our, um, our photo library. And let's bring in that tree that we made. You can see there that it's all there. It hasn't cut off. I'm gonna hit the ticky box. It's gonna to go to save. And now you'll see it on the left-hand side underneath new. So I'm gonna press new. I can pinch and make that bigger. You can see it sits beautifully there and I'm gonna place it. So I might place a few of those. Push one at the back here so you can see the kind of layering. Um, let's go with some trees. So we'll bring in some trees. So I'll go to new, folder. Let's bring in that cloud set that we produced. Ticky box, okay. And you'll see this one, hopefully, when I press the clouds, see how it sits up a little bit? So I'm just gonna raise it so you can see it's kind of at the back there a little bit of my thing. So now, when I've placed that, you can see that that sits beautifully, beautifully above. Um, the other thing I might need to bring in, if I go down past some of these other ones that I've created, are these nice little arrows. And what these arrows are doing, I'll just pinch to make them smaller. I'll put them under the clouds to show the, the rain coming down and I can put them, you can see there, I can put them between them or in front of them. I'll just put them underneath at the moment. And there you go. You can see how this is starting to grow and develop in regard to uh, my little area here. I might put the sun in the background to show that heat aspect of it. I think I put that in the middle. So if I go up to the top, I can see my sun. I might raise that over to the side. I actually can put it on the side a little bit. So I'll put that up there a little bit, make it bigger. And I've placed that and you can see it's starting to look really good as a, a water cycle. Now, if I press the back arrow on the left hand side above the new, kind of gets rid of all the placements and you'll see on the right hand side, I've got a camera mode and a um, video mode and I can actually video this. So you can get the kids to kind of really come in towards those arrows and actually explain and describe what part of the water cycle that is, what is actually reflective. of. So the great thing is I can move around, I can do all these things, but I can get my students to really talk about from the different angles about what is actually happening. So that's just a really quick tutorial, but I hope you can see how easy it is to make about the AR mat, uh, maker and also Keynote and how we can create these really, really simple assets to create AR experiences. Some people might have seen some of the other things that I've been um, creating. This was the little historical kind of who am I? And I've just created some little tags here and I've done the same sort of thing in regard to bringing in these assets into AR Maker to explore some different ways of using augmented reality in the classroom.